Hi Aquarius, welcome to your tarot forecast for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the energies around you for January or at this time. So uh, we're going to take whatever comes out. It could be about love or it may not be. So whatever the energies, strongest energies are around you at this time. Aquarius. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though this is dated January. So if you'd like to go back and watch uh, previous previous readings, you can uh, check the description box below for all Aquarius playlists. Okay, Aquarius. And I am also doing a new series, uh, weekly element energy forecast uh, readings. So New ones are coming out this week for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. So if you're interested in that and all the readings I provide, then please do check out my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Okay, so let's see. So we have Pisces. So um, you could have a Pisces around you or you could have Pisces in your chart. I know somebody who has Pisces in their chart. Again, if you don't resonate with that sign, that is totally fine. It's a little extra bonus. So let's see what the energy is like for you, Aquarius, at this time. Okay. Tons of stuff down in the description box also. Uh, decks I'm using, uh, how to reach out for personal reading, um, social media, I do readings on Instagram, and tons of stuff down there. So please go check it out if you like to, and if you do, thank you. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. So let's get let's get an opening message for you at this time for Aquarius. And I think that one wanted to come out. So we just got this for Leo. That is so crazy. So we have between worlds here. I'm not sure if I want to take this. So it just just came out for Leo. I'm gonna put it back. So I don't like that when the same cards come out in the previous readings. So if it's meant to come out, it will, because we're going to pull a few more, go over the bottom of the deck. So if it's meant to reappear, it will. So what is the main message, opening message here for Aquarius this time? Okay. So we have Yin, two here. And I do believe Yin is, uh, let's see. I do believe that's feminine energy. Yes, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. So maybe being in your feminine energy at this time. So let's get, uh, are you feeling your feminine side is feeling very balanced? Well, whether you're male or female watching this doesn't matter. So in the Pisces does represent the moon, which is all about uh, the feminine energy. So let's see here. So we have co-create here, 40. And two here is about unity. So unity in some way. It doesn't really have to mean a lover. It could be a friend, family, co-workers. And we have co-create. So this is like working together, co-creating with other people with the universe being aligned, being totally one with the energies. And we have 40 there, which is four, which is about stability, foundation, basis. So let's see what um, co-create has to say here. So let's see. creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation. So, yeah, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. No place like home, 50, which five is about change. So there may be something changing in your home life. Hmm, I don't know, let's see what's going on. What's going on? Maybe you're redecorating, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, manifesting something new. Maybe you're returning back home, moving moving back to your home, uh, you know, where you were raised. Maybe you feel very balanced there, you know, like there's no place like home. Maybe you're having a new beginning, moving back home for some of you. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius.
Aquarius. Oh, it's way too many, but I think I'll take that one. Let's get another one. Oh, my cards are upside down. Okay. So we have the Knight of Spirals here, which is the Knight of Wands energy. And we have the Sun, which is about happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Success and victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family. Could mean children. Maybe some of you have a child or children. Um, you could be, with the owl here, you could be feeling very wise at this time. Also, like you feel like you're making a wise decision here. And the Knight of Spirals is about, you know, taking very fiery, passionate action. So I feel like you're feeling very fired up and passion, you know, passionate about this for some of you. If you are deciding to move back to like your home where you were raised. All right. So let's see. Getting in like a very spiritual energy there. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's get more energy here. So we have the lovers. So doesn't have to be uh, like a lover lover. It can just be making a decision here. I think some of you are making a decision here to move back home. It could be with a lover, or moving back to a lover. Let's see what else here. Page of Stone. So that could be, you know, an offer coming in. It could be um, something solid and stable and secure with the Page of Stones there. It could be a job offer. Maybe you offered a job or something back home. So you decided to take it. And now you're moving forward passionately, moving back home where you feel balanced and ready to create this new beginning for yourself. Because the sun can be also about new beginnings and just feeling very, very like aligned and balanced with this decision. We have the seven of spirals energy here, so more fire energy. So some of you could have fire heavily in your chart, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries. But the seven of spirals is like, you see this bear like defending his home, so his den. So I feel like maybe, I don't know if you had to defend this in any way about what you're doing here. But um, you're standing up for it, fighting for it. So we got the seven of mirrors energy here. So two sevens. Sevens is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So, you know, seven of mirrors, feeling a little confused. Maybe you always dreamed about moving back home. Uh, options, choices needing to be made. You know, thinking about it. Justice. Yeah, doing what's fair and right and balanced. Could have been something in the court system for some of you in the justice system. Doesn't have to be. Um, but you got the sun right next to justice. So that is totally ha total happiness and joy fulfillment in every single way. Getting your balance. Doing what's right and just. Getting justice in your life. Whatever that means for you. So I think you're creating a new beginning for yourself. And you're feeling very balanced. Alright, so... Let's see. So we got the Queen of Mirrors now, water energy. And you see she's like on a journey here. So I do feel like you're setting off on a new journey. And feeling more loving, compassionate, uh, nurturing, giving kind of energy with the Queen of Mirrors, what that water energy. The hangman. So, you know, think seeing things from all perspectives. We have the owl here, we have the owl here. So I feel like you're making you know, you thought about it long and hard. You looked at all the options with the Seven of Cups energy. And now you feel like you're making a wise decision. You contemplated it. You looked at it from every perspective. And now you're like, you know what? This is, I think, a wise decision. And now you're going on that journey. I feel like you could be moving back home and starting over, starting fresh. All right, what else do we have here? So let's get some advice for you. So we have the Knight of Stones. So this is about being practical. You know, take your time, be practical, practical, making smart moves. Yeah, the Five of scroll, uh, Swords, Scrolls Energy, so Five of Swords. So that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the Five of Scrolls can be like feeling defeated or um, somebody else feeling defeated because of your actions. Or that energy of getting ahead at all costs, you know, whatever happens, happens. So don't get in that energy. This is your advice. I feel like don't get in that energy. Balance yourself out. The Knight of Stones, slow, practical approach. 
you know, smart, wise decisions, planning very carefully. Don't get caught up in that five of swords energy. Yeah, so death. So I feel like you're going through a death and transformation. And I had felt that. I don't know if somebody passed away. I usually don't get that message with the death card, but I get a very spiritual energy here. Maybe some had a parent or a mother pass away, and now you're returning back home. And maybe now you're going to live in the home that you were raised in, and you're starting over, starting fresh for some of you. Or this is just the new beginning for you death of old ways and starting over fresh with a brand new transformative beginning because you have the ace of spirals here so this is a very creative exciting new beginning feeling very fiery and passionate so there's that new beginning so coming in for you so let's see what your possible outcome is here for you Aquarius so we have judgment yeah making a final decision here doing what's just and right. Um, that can be about, you know, resurrection, forgiveness, um, making a final judgment call. So I feel like, yeah, you're really going to make this decision and judgment call. And I felt wise decision. And we have the owl twice here, and this is about a decision. So and the seven of cups is about making decisions. Up over here, the lovers is about making decisions. So we have the four of stones. So this is um, something you don't want to let go of, something you want to hold on to and cherish, like in this uh, treasure chest here, uh, something you value and you don't want to let go of. So it could be your family home or something like that. It has a lot of value to you. you definitely don't want to lose it here because this is fate and destiny. Whatever happened here, whatever your situation, it was fate, fated, it was destiny, was divine timing something meant to be something going in your favor um things going in a better direction so i feel like things will go in a really good direction for you a very balanced direction so now we have the hermit here the hero so this is uh taking a leap of faith so i feel like that's a fool energy so definitely taking a leap of faith a new start here the fool energy bottom of the deck we have strength so having all this you know your courage your strength being brave courageous kind of energy as you're transitioning through this needing all your inner strength so there like i said there could have been a child here divine child maybe you're moving with a child a hierophant energy very spiritual energy um doing what's moral just and right being committed to this moving forward And the magician again so it's about manifesting a brand new beginning because the um uh, i said again but merlin here kind of looks like a magician so <laughs> but um yeah manifesting this brand new beginning for yourself the empress being in your empress power could have been something here with a mother figure maybe passed away and now you're going back and living in that home and uh starting a new life there maybe you inherited the home or something like that, or you need to go up and go and take care of things, but deciding to actually now move and stay there. Maybe you're not telling anyone with the high priestess, you know, about your plans. Um, that's about, you know, listening to your gut, your intuition, and maybe not telling anyone, but definitely being in Empress Power or something to do with a mother, uh, creating a new beginning for yourself, divinely guided for you here with the Hierophant a bit being dedicated to this spirituality faith and being very strong and brave through this whole process whatever it was for you for the science here we do have um cancer pisces empress energy here is um libra and taurus we have leo we have taurus again and we have gemini and virgo and then over here we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries. Leo again over here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius. That's your energy. Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Libra. So we got a lot, a lot of signs here. So don't get too caught up on the signs. But if they resonate for you in some way, then... 
All right, so let's get some extra messages for you here. Aquarius with this deck. I do ask Aquarius if you like my style, how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four readings a month. I do a general tarot forecast reading. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. I do a love connection reading, singles reading, who's coming towards you, uh, messages from your spirit guides, or sometimes I switch it up and do an angel reading or something like that. And I just started doing... Uh, weekly element forecast readings so if you're interested in all that hit the bell you won't miss out if you do thank you and a, just a quick shout out thank you to everyone who supported the channel me uh, the channel however you support it uh, is truly appreciated so thank you thank you so we have here taking action i enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities so yeah i feel like here taking action making change moving forward um kind of energy a lot of feminine energy here with Pisces represents the moon feminine energy yin is feminine energy empress feminine energy uh, the sun is masculine though uh, and a lot of energy here about home with the forest stones uh, no place like home Mending bridges, I heal rifts, I am a mender. So if there was any family issues, maybe before whatever happened here, maybe things, unfortunately, if there was unfortunate circumstances, now may bring people back together and actually mend those situations. And unfortunately, it may have had taken some sort of misfortune here for this to happen. So let's see, any other messages for Aquarius? Any other messages for Aquarius? Trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. So we did have, did see the uh, high priestess. So yeah, trusting your intuition. Um, and you see again with the keyhole, like reminds me of like that home energy. So yeah, trusting your intuition and knowing this is the right thing for you to do. And then expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. So I feel like, even though there may have been something here that was unfortunate, I feel like there will be blessings uh, now moving forward. Um, for every negative, there's always a positive. So I feel like even though something may have happened here, I don't know. Um, I think things will be better for you moving forward, whatever your situation is. Again, whether you're moving back home, actually moving back into your childhood home, or just moving home for a new beginning, a new job or whatever here, or moving home to be with a soulmate with the lovers here. Whatever your situation, it's all divinely guided here with the wheel, and I feel like um, things will get better for you, Aquarius. Wow, Aquarius, okay, so best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.